Okay, composite functions, part three. Um, let's say we have the function hx equals 2x squared plus 3x. Okay, and we have the function ix, and that will be um, x uh, plus 7. And that asks me now to write a formula for the composite function hi x, eh? so h i x. Okay. Now, hopefully, you know by now what that means. It means that I have to plug in, I have to plug in the function i in h for x. Yeah? So I have to substitute it or evaluate uh, this function for that function. Um, okay. Now I have no idea what that exactly means, but I have to put i in h for x. So I'm going to put in x plus 7, uh, which is the function of i in this particular function. So it's 2x plus 7 squared uh, plus 3 times x or 3 times x plus 7. Okay. Now I have, I'm now going to evaluate the function h uh, for i and uh, what I have to do now is to expand those brackets and simplify it. But I just want to have a look at the first one, x plus 7 squared. So I'm just going to do that on a separate piece of paper and we're going to return there in a minute x plus 7 squared because a lot of students make a mistake here yeah. because they're going to say x plus 7 squared is x squared plus 49 right well that is absolutely wrong because x plus 7 squared means x plus 7 times itself so times x plus 7 so actually you have to use the FOIL method x times x x times 7 7 times x 7 times 7. Okay, so do not make that classic mistake. It is the FOIL method. Okay, please see the difference between x plus 7 squared and, for instance, 7x squared, which indeed is, this is one term, which is 49x squared. Yeah, but that is not the same question as x plus 7 squared. Okay, I really wanted to, uh, to have said that because so many students unfortunately make a mistake there. So I'm going to expand these brackets now. I'm going to put my equal sign here because I know I'm going to need a lot of space. First I have to do the square head bit mass. So two times whatever is inside those brackets. I'm going to leave some space and I'm going to do it mentally now. This is x times x, so that is x squared. Yeah, x times 7, that's 7x. Yeah, 7 times x, that is 7x and 7 times 7, that is positive 49, it just fits. Yes, what, I, what did I just do? I did this, x times x, x times 7, 7 times x, 7 times 7. Now I expand already this part, which is 3x plus 21. And don't forget, 2 times the 7 by 3 as well. Okay, now before I expand these brackets, let me simplify that to x squared plus 14x plus 49 bracket plus 3x plus 21. All right, now I'm going to expand these brackets multiplied by 2, which is 2x squared plus 28x. 49 times 2, now you can do 50 times 2, minus 2, yeah, indeed, that is 98, plus 3x plus 21. Okay, now I simplify, combine the like terms, and I don't have space for that here, so I'm just going to cheat a little bit and do it like that. Okay, so that equals, well, I only have one term with an x squared, yeah, and we usually write a term with the highest power of x first, yeah, so 2x squared, I have plus 28x and plus 3x, so that is a positive 31x, and I have 98 plus 21, which is 119. Okay, so that is the answer to which question, we will move a little bit now. They gave me two functions, h and i, and I have, this is the composite function where I plug the function i into h for x. Okay, so I'm gonna put x plus seven for x, um, uh, in the function of h, and I'm going to get 2x squared plus 31x plus 119. Okay, 
I have two more videos with some additional information for you. All right, see you there.